Welcome back. This is the last task of this week that is week 8. In this task we are going to print the Pascal triangle with the help of recursion function right. Now what is a Pascal triangle? Now Pascal triangle uh, is basically uh, it's a triangle where every element in the triangle is computed from the elements above it okay summation addition of the uh, elements above it like for example in this case 4 is calculated uh, uh, with the help of the above two elements that is 1 and 3 you add it and you get 4 similarly if you take uh, the example of 6 it is the addition of 3 and 3 right so similarly all the elements are uh, considered right now uh, uh, we can calculate it uh, like this uh, but there is a simple formula also to find out any term with the help of uh, combination right so uh, you this is the formula to find out the uh, uh, value of uh, any location okay so where uh, n is basically the row row and r is basically your column okay so uh, your uh, formula of combination is applicable over here which is nothing but n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial okay so now you, if you see uh, you will see that factorial is done three times okay so that means this is something where we could use functions right that means we can use functions over here right so uh, also uh, to calculate factorial uh, we can use recursion right so uh, that is where uh, if you look at the aim of the program we have to use recursion also right so we have to print the pascal triangle as well as use a recursion function right so uh, while calculating the factorial we can uh, we, we will be using recursion function okay and after that uh, i will just show you how the uh, program looks so basically uh, the user will enter the number of rows he wants right so uh, the number of rows and the number of columns will be equal right so if the user enters five rows that means uh, he will uh, you you sh it should have at least five rows and also automatically it will have five columns okay you can see the last row has five columns okay so this is what we have to do right so let's begin programming so we will start with um, uh, defining the uh, variables so we have rows then we have columns okay and rows and columns are equal right so uh, right now these are the two uh, variables that we need then let's uh, define what this uh, program does so pascal triangle okay enter rows and i will get the uh, input the rows from the user okay so once that is done next step is to equate calls to rows because they both are equal right and once that is done what we have to do is we just have to run a for loop okay so we are going to run a for loop uh, so for running this for loop we need a dual for loop right because there are rows and columns it's just like patterns right so since we need two um, uh, for loops we will take two counter variables i and j so i will be for rows so i um, equal to zero so it starts from zero then i less than rows and i plus plus right and then we will just start the second for loop that is for columns where j 
that also starts from zero and it uh, now the columns uh, uh, completely depends on the number of uh, it, it depends on basically the rows okay so if it is the first row you will have only one column right if it just if it is the second row you will have two columns right if it is the third row you will have three columns right so basically it is dependent on i right so j will start from zero but will not end at columns but it will actually end at uh, the value of i right so j will be less than or equal to i okay so whatever is the value of i it will run for that much amount right then i will do j plus plus and now the only thing left is to uh, find out the value right but before that let me just see if i can print before calculating the value i will just print this and see if uh, i get the required pattern right so if I run this, obviously I will not get the pattern that I want. I will just run this and you can see it comes everything on single line, right? That is because after every column, I have to do a printf, a new line. Okay. So that after one column is over, you will get a new line. Okay. So now if I run it and let's say I put five rows. I do get a triangle but that is not the way our program needs right so basically before every uh, what do you say column is printed I need to print few number of spaces right so that now depends so for that I will be requiring another for loop okay so let's take just copy this for loop again right I will copy this for loop and instead of a star I will place a space right now how many spaces that depends completely on the value of i okay so like for example if I come over here if it is the first row okay first row number of characters is one but the number of spaces are much higher right so basically it is greater than it is it depends on the uh, uh, I value and also the size of the columns okay so the size of the columns and the rows are same so let's take the column size and subtract it with I okay so whatever is the col column size minus the I so those many spaces will be printed like for example in the first iteration I is 0 right and calls is let's say 5 right so 5 minus 0 that means 5 spaces will be printed in the first row right in the second row i becomes 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 right so this will uh, make uh, let's say 5 spaces uh, sorry 4 spaces will be printed right so similarly uh, when uh, as uh, as and when the row number changes uh, increases the number of spaces decreases okay so that's what we are doing over here okay so let's uh, try to run this and see if we get our result okay so now we are getting the uh, star uh, sorry the triangle pattern but uh, we are not getting uh, the space at the appropriate place right so what i will do is i will just slightly change the code and add a space over here and see if this change and you can see it completely matches with the pattern that we want right so once our pattern is ready now the only thing left is we just have to add the values instead of star right so i will instead of printing the star i will be printing the values right so for that i have to calculate the value first right so let us calculate the value okay let's uh, call it pascal okay and uh, let's find out that pascal pascal value is nothing but 
सो बेसिकली योर आई एंड जे आर बेसिकली योर वॉट द वैल्यूज इन साइड दिस फॉर्मूला राइट सो दिस इंस्टेड ऑफ एन वी हैव आई एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ आर वी हैव जे राइट सो वी जस्ट हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस फॉर्मूला विद दैट राइट सो लेट्स राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला इट इज आई फैक्टोरियल डिवाइड बाय जे फैक्टोरियल डिवाइड बाय आई माइनस जे फैक्टोरियल ओके सो लेट एस राइट डाउन दैट आई फैक्टोरियल ओके सो वी डोंट हैव फैक्टोर वी कैन नॉट डू फैक्टोरियल डायरेक्टली ओके सो लेट्स एज्यूम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ फंक्शन फैक्टोरियल ओके सो दिस इज द फंक्शन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एंड एस वॉट एवर नंबर यू गिव इट गिवस द फैक्टोरियल बैक राइट सो यू हैव सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू आर गोइंग टू गिव फैक्टोरियल ऑफ आई डिवाइड बाय देन यू आर गोइंग टू गिव फैक्ट सॉरी फैक्टोरियल ऑफ फैक्टोरियल ऑफ जे इंटू फैक्टोरियल ऑफ आई माइनस जे ओके सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला दैट वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम हियर राइट सो वंस वी हैव दैट वी जस्ट हैव टू प्रिंट इट इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस स्टार राइट सो आई विल जस्ट डू परसेंटेज डी एंड डू पासकल एंड दैट प्रिंट्स दैट वैल्यू ओवर देयर ओके सो नाउ दिस प्रोग्राम इज रेडी बट only problem is that we don't have the uh, factorial function ready okay so let's start writing that let's go up and define the function so basically this function factorial takes one argument of type int okay so let's call it let's say t okay so int t and it does the calculations and returns the factorial which is also of type int okay because factorial consists of uh, multiplication right so uh, when you multiply integers you will always get integer that's why the return type is int okay so once that is done uh, we have already written the uh, uh, formula for sorry uh, this particular task in the last to last task okay so we have done how to find factorial with the help of recursion right so basically what you do is you just return t but before returning you again call the factorial function but this time you just decrement it by 1 okay so what happens is uh, uh, it keeps on decrementing and it will uh, at the end when it expands it will become t into t minus 1 into t minus 2 into t minus 3 like that okay and it will go up till 1 uh, okay and after 1 it should stop right so for that i should add a stop condition right so whenever i get t before running this i should check whether t is greater than 0 or not if it is greater than 0 then it's fine okay but if it is less than or equal to 0 if it is less than or equal to 0 i will simply do return 1 okay so that will stop it from going any further okay right it will stop it from uh, stop it here and progressively it will stop all the other function calls right and it will return the factorial and uh, it will return the values over here the the uh, expressions will be evaluated and this value pascal will be calculated and that will be inserted over here okay and we will get our final answer okay so let's try to run this let's say five rows and you can see our pattern perfect okay so you can compare it with the pattern that we have right so it is the same pattern so i hope you have understood this week's task in this week we have covered uh, how the functions are declared how uh, how you use 
different types of functions with arguments without arguments and with return type also and we have also seen recursion functions okay so in the next week we will start with arrays and strings tasks uh, we will see you in the next task